Welcome to my edit suite. This video is all about editing in Lightroom. I've been working on some travel photographs lately and I have this scene of a harbour which was shot during the blue hour. Now I've got some twinkling lights and some deep blues in the sky. And these kind of pictures can be quite difficult to balance out sometimes. I'm gonna show you how we go from the original raw file to this, the finished photograph. And I'm gonna do it really quickly because in my life as a professional photographer, I need to get the best possible quality from all of my pictures, but I don't want to be spending hours in post-production. So I'm just going to dive straight in. It's going to take about two minutes. Here we go. Here we are with our original raw file. And while it looks okay, it is rather drab. And the reason for that is that I've underexposed this image. I underexposed it so that I can retain as much information as possible in the raw file. Now, the first thing that I will start to do is to adjust my exposure. I know that I've got a couple of stops of dynamic range within this file that I can um, adjust. So I will start to adjust my overall exposure to bring the image back. And at the same time, I'll drop my highlights and I'll drop the highlights quite significantly. And because I'm doing that, I can then work my overall exposure back up. Uh, at the same time, I will start working on my shadows, bring my shadows up. Uh, you have to be quite careful with shadows because things can get noisy quite quickly. So it's just a matter of adjusting these settings delicately so that we can retain as much information in the file but make it look as realistic as possible. We don't want anything that's too surreal. We want a really true representation of how the scene was. That's what I'm ultimately looking for. At this point I'll add some clarity to give the scene a little bit of a pop and maybe drop my blacks and maybe raise my whites ever so slightly. I might still carry on adjusting my shadows and highlights all the way through this process until I get to the point where the scene starts to look as I am happy with it. Please do like, comment and subscribe. This is the smallest photography YouTube channel in the world. You can be here at the beginning. Send me a comment. I almost definitely will reply. Um, thank you very much. I'm going to dive back in. At this point, I might drop a graduated filter onto the sky because that's with all of that adjustment, the sky is now brightened significantly. So I'm going to drop my exposure again on the sky and probably add a little bit of saturation in there. And if we go, when you put the graduated filter on the sky, sometimes you have to be quite cautious because you can start to darken things. So you can come here to this brush button, hit erase, and then you can brighten up the areas where the graduated filter has had some effect if you wish. As I'm doing that, I think I'm going to use my dodge and burn adjustment brush to come in and just add a little bit more exposure into that hill area and probably into this um, fauna in the foreground here. I may go for a bigger brush and ever so slightly lower exposure and just brush in this area really delicately because I don't want to bring out too much noise in that area but there's detail in there and it'll be really nice to see it. You have to be very, very subtle with these things. The next thing that I will do is to adjust my vibrance. I'm going to bring that up until the image pops, but not too much. And I might just add a tiny little bit of saturation. Then I'm going to go into my HSL color um, option and go onto hue and grab my slider. And I just want to make not too far. I just wanted to make that sky pop just a little bit. And then I may go in on my saturation and grab my slider and go onto the orange and just drop that a little bit because while I want that to glow, I don't want it to take over the picture. And that would be quite easy with this shot to go too much on the saturation. You know, if I go too far, then it looks unrealistic and I do not do not want that. I want it to be reminiscent of the scene as I saw it when I was there. The next thing that I'm gonna do is come in and do a crop. Now, I originally saw this picture as a Guinea letterbox, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I'm going to leave this space because I think that clients really like that space and it means that they can use the negative space up here to put text if they wish. I'm probably going to come in just slightly on that side. I might come up a little bit at the bottom, just a tiny bit, and maybe in just a tiny bit more at the top. But that's pretty much how I'm going to leave the image. There's a couple of little dust spots up there which I'm just going to zap with my um, brush tool so in there and 
in there and over on that side I saw a couple of just tiny sensor marks which is a problem when you're shooting with a wide angle lens stopped all the way down to f11 as this image is. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of contrast and maybe even just a tiny little bit more exposure and then I'm happy with that shot. I could look at the white balance and I could make the image cooler or I could warm it up but actually I'm quite happy with where we were when we shot the image. I could go in and do some split toning adjustment but for this picture I'm happy with this so um, I think that this is just about ready to go. The last thing that I would do is to add some overall noise reduction to the whole image. And I do that at the end because it tends to slow Lightroom down. So there we are, the image is ready and now it's all ready for exporting out. I hope some of this has been useful for you. Please do subscribe, like, comment. As I've said before, this is probably the smallest YouTube photography channel in the world. So if you comment, it's highly likely that I will respond. And it will also, you know, it will touch my heart and make me feel that all of this is worthwhile. So I really hope that you've enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.